What's up, weirdlings? It's time for another cocktail stream. Nope, not a stream. This is a video. What's up, weirdlings? Time for another cocktail recipe. This is one we made up on our Test Kitchen live stream again, and this one is surprisingly good because we used a liquor I have trouble with. I have tried so many times to make a drink with rum agricole and I just struggle with it. I just never quite get it the way I like it and it just never quite works. But we got the bar team from Water Trade to help out in the last live stream. We came up with something that turned into something really good. The recipe is super simple, y'all. We're just gonna start off with one ounce of rum agricole. Come on. Running low on my rum agricole. Cause I've been trying to make so many cocktails with it. Remember how I said the cocktail was super easy? It's all equal parts, y'all. Just one ounce across the board. Which means one ounce of an Amaro. I'm using this Amaro de la Serene. I love this Amaro. This may be kind of hard for you to find, but if you can find it, pick it up. I think it's great. And we're gonna put one ounce of this guy into this beverage. Gonna get a little acidity in there with one ounce of lime juice. Damn. Looking like a swamp now, isn't it? And then we're gonna put in some vanilla simple syrup. If you don't have any vanilla simple syrup, you don't know how to make it, it's super easy. There's a video here on the channel that shows you how to make a simple syrup. If you wanna put vanilla in it, all you have to do is get your vanilla bean, slice it open so you expose the seeds, let it sit in there with the syrup. Honestly, I like it when it sits in there for really about a day. Let it sit in there a day and then use it. You're gonna have a great sweet vanilla flavor that's really gonna shine in a cocktail one ounce of vanilla simple syrup. We're gonna take this, throw it in some ice, and we are gonna shake it up until it gets nice and chilly. If you've watched a lot of these videos, you know by now that I have a big rosemary bush in front of the front yard. So yes, I'm gonna light some more rosemary on fire. Got some rosemary in my little dish with some chartreuse, and I'm just gonna light this bad boy on fire. Yeah, burn, Rosemary, burn! Once that gets going, I'm just gonna take my glass, put it on top, put that out, let the smoke wash that glass. Wash, smoke, wash. <laughs> mm, smells like burned rosemary. All right, now that that is done, we are going to double strain this into the glass. Where did my strain? Oh, there it is. As I was saying, we're going to double strain this into my glass. Mmm. Looks like a swamp, doesn't it? <laughs> Don't let that fool you, because it tastes good. Let's give this a shot. Let's see what it tastes like. Ooh, there's that washing of the smoke. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. That works really well. Oh, that's an actual good cocktail with the rum agricole. The Amaro is great. The vanilla starts to come through. You get the nose of that smoke wash with the rosemary. All works together really well. You do get the grassy nature of that rum agricole, but everything else just works really well with it. In the past, that grassiness just overpowered everything. But this turned into something really nice. Honestly, I wish maybe I had a little bit stronger vanilla syrup because I like where that is and I would like a little more of that. But other than that, it's a great little cocktail. I'm into this. Good job. For the name of this during the live stream, somehow we started talking a little bit about politics. Not too much because you don't want to get too crazy. So with that and the fact that this looked really swamp colored and it's all equal parts, which seems like fair and like a thing, an ideal of cats, no politics. Anyway, we got a suggestion from the chat room for booze and politics. So I give you booze and politics. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, I'm spilling sh I'm Losing control. I have just been informed just off camera by my wife that it was actually her that suggested the name booze and politics and not the chat room. My apologies, Elizabeth. Credits to you for the title booze and politics. So that's it, another cocktail for you to try at home. Make sure you practice adequate fire safety protocols if you do try to light your rosemary on fire with chartreuse in a small dish. We don't want any fiery accidents. 
Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Click the little notification bell so you get notifications whenever I get another video out. And you can also just click right over there right now and see a bunch of other cocktail recipes of new stuff we made up on our own or classic cocktail recipes for the classic in you. You should join our test kitchen once a month. We do a live stream on Twitch where we have people sitting across there with people in the chow room. We're making stuff like this live so you can be a part of it in naming things. We should see you there next time. Until next time, bye.